Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Um, I didn't really know what I was gonna do tonight. Uh, and in the end, I think I settled on just, you know, taking it easy. Or easier. And so, here we are again. With more Star Rail. Cleaning up some of the backlog. So, yeah, before we start another companion mission, I think, uh, we did want to follow up with, uh, Clara. Because her companion quest, uh, we just finished it up and, you know, there's this little extra side quest. So Good see what's boy, up here. Pascal. Oh, it's you. I'm just doing a checkup on Pascal. Oh, it's actually voiced. He's been doing great. Mr. Sparrow's programs are extremely effective. It's just hard to know if it'll last. Would you like to speak with Pascal? <laughs> uh, what's up? I... 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 Very good. <laughs> You're in good health, Pascal. Today's checkup is over. Shall we head back now? Please? Wait! Flower! 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 For you! Don't forget! Huh? Pascal, make... make myself! Scraps, parts, materials. Not stolen. Very clean. You... good! Pascal, happy! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Clara. Big sister. Thank you, Pascal. Um... Big sister, would you like a flower? Flower made from scrap iron. Okay. Ah, so... Just a little extra... A little extra finale to it, I guess. I see, I see. That was nice. Alright, um... With that out of the way... I guess what we'll do is... We'll tackle... What do we feel like tackling right now? Well, I guess we'll just pick one, one random one and then go with it to the faint star. So mow the side quest. Excuse me, coming through. Should I have gone this far? No, I need to activate the bridge. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't think we'll be seeing that robot again though, Chad. He's a very minor character. Just a little side character and a little side thing. Alright. I'm apparently using this to repair something or other. Also, I need to make sure this gate is closed the other way. Due to how I normally... My usual uh, mob killing route requires that the bridge be this way, so we'll leave it there. So we put the thing in, and then... Airwave is online. Transmitting airwave has not been detected. If needed, please select the historical signal decoding record that you wish to review. Then 
land in the neighboring system. Mm -hmm. It's a landing route. Astro rod. No, I don't fully remember the context of what you were doing, but oh well. Uh, all right. You can view the historical decoding signal record here. No record. What happened? How silly of you, of course, I don't understand what you mean. So, my answer record is damaged. Hmm. Life form emotional fluctuation detected. You've entered the full surveillance area of the space station. Please do not conduct any inappropriate behavior towards the repeater. Yeah, I guess we were looking up records for someone. Probably. Authentication pass. Right. I can't believe the surveillance camera captured Asta and two rarely seen young researchers. It's not the area I should be investigating. During the time captured by the camera, the safe zone and reception hall has been set up. Hero Collection Squad is nowhere to be seen, only the wandering monsters of Legion. Then March 7 and Dan Hung, they look like they were in a hurry to do something. Okay, the most important thing is to find the surveillance record of the repeater. The surveillance footage clearly shows that someone is trapped in a repulsion bridge. Now did at last. The camera only captured the image of a blurry figure from behind. It looks like Bernard. Dangerous researchers under medical treatment in the medical cabin. Now that I know who that is, let me confront him and find out the truth. Someone's been tampering with records. Also, it seems. It's hard for a wanderer to find rest in this world. Don't know what you're talking about. Nah. Young people should spend more time studying instead of wandering around. It's been captured by the security footage. It looks like you fixed the machine. Thanks to you kids, I am worried to death. I damaged the record for Rocky's own good. He's foregone his research because of that Leslie, not to mention not to mention you have no idea what's happening right now. Leslie. You say yes? Yes, she said yes, but they can't be together. If you think I am the one being difficult here, you are wrong. Don't get ahead of yourself. They can't be together. They will never be together. You know why? No you don't. People rarely understand what a Starquake means. With proper protection, a Starquake will not cause physical damage to humans. However, the gravitational collapse caused by a star quake will severely change the space-time curvature of the segmentum. For example, the time in Leslie's segmentum was not a straight line like ours, but now it has been pressed into a huge canyon by gravity. Clearly, a curve is always longer than a straight line. Therefore, the time curve of a segmentum is going to cover several lengths, several times the length when converted to our timeline. Do you know what that means? Uh, has she become a god? It means the velocity of our time is different from hers. Since the star quake, the temporal differences between Leslie's and ours will gradually increase. It is possible that the time it takes for her reply to arrive will change from one month to a year, maybe even ten years. This isn't just about a message, but everything she does. Until she leaves that abnormal gravity environment, every month she spends among the cosmos will be equal decades for us. Let's say a rock including us is living at a point called the present. Then in comparison, Leslie, she is living in the future. I used to be young men once. In my opinion, not being able to be with someone you love is even more cruel than being rejected. Hmm. Ah, so that's the context, huh? This little side quest. We have a researcher in love with another researcher, but now something something space-time dilations. Very sad. There aren't any. After knowing the truth, Rocky will have to wait ten times longer for a message that should have arrived right away. He would have to live in this lonely presence and wait for the future, continuing Leslie to finally come to him. But how much time can he spend waiting? Maybe Leslie will finally return to the space station when he is old and decrepit like me. But the flow of time for her is so slow. Maybe at that time she will still be as young as she is today. When the time comes, how are they going to be together? We may transcend space, but time is beyond our reach. We are way too young. You don't understand. Things that require a lot of ways and you don't usually end up well. Hmm. Dot dot dot. 
At first I thought if I damaged the record, take away the parts and blame everything on the monsters, I could keep rocking the hope that one day the repeater will be repaired. Now since you have found out, the decision is up to you. I have two signal logs, a copy from the repeater, red and blue. The red log contains Leslie's real reply, including the truth about the Starquake. To be honest, even I can't imagine what Rocky would do after finding out the truth, given how impulsive he is. The blue log is forged, in which Leslie refuses Rocky. Don't think about this as cruel. This way Rocky won't have to wait for her reply in the future. He can just move on with his life. Let's call these the red truth and the blue lie. It's up to you to decide which one you want to give to him. Take them and give it some thought. Rocky is waiting for your news. Uh, the Matrix references again. What do you think, chat? Cruel, cruel truth or cruel truth or compassionate lie? I actually don't know which one I want to do. The the red pill or the blue pill? We're we gonna red pill him or blue pill him? All right. Raise Leslie, defeat the repeater. I see you're holding decoded backups. Here, which one is for me? Alright then, the red pill. You seem hesitant, are you sure the red one is for me? Okay, I'll read it now. Thank you, bro. After some time. I can't believe it. Leslie said yes, but the Starquake. I, I can't get my head around this. So, because of the gravitational effect of the Starquake, every month she spends in her time will be decades for me. Am I going to be as old as my master when she's back? Is my interpretation correct? So, let me take a look. I'm a bit slow. Is that what she means? It's not up to you. She has gone to the future and I am left in the present. Is this what happened? The decades I spent thinking about her will only be a fleeting moment for her, right? Who would have thought that even time can be so unfair? I guess it's unrealistic to hope that she will come back. Even if she travels for months and crosses light years, I will have become an old man in my time. Spending my whole life waiting for someone and enduring endless longing and loneliness. Come on bro, do you think do you really think I'm that naive? Haha, <laughs> of course I'm not gonna wait for her, I won't. <laughs> that was unexpected. I am not going to wait for her, but I can go after her. I'm going to chase after time. Since her time space curve has become a canyon, wouldn't it be better for me to travel past this canyon instead of waiting for her to come back? Maybe it will take me ten years to find her who has only spent a month, but once I do that, our time will be synchronized. It's better than sitting here and doing nothing. Don't you agree? No, no matter what you think, Stella, I've decided. I should inform my master as soon as possible, pack my things, and set off on my journey to find Leslie. I'm already tired of this place. As a member of the Hurdle Department of Cosmic Geography, I haven't even seen the real cosmos. Isn't it embarrassing? I'm sure you're just as curious as I am uh, about the scenery in deep space. Never crossed my mind. At least for me, there are lonely wonders, the mysterious charm of danger, and the person I am chasing after. When I find Leslie one day, I will come back and tell you everything I've witnessed on my journey. But then I will invite you to be our bridesmaid, don't you forget it. Well, this poem is for you. Goodbye, my friend. Darkness is gathering in the distance using cruel methods. To the exact time, petals inquiring for love are, fail are falling. Like the ticking chimes in an infinite time and space, we have no choice but to slide into the shivering calamities of the universe as if sliding down a slope into dusk. And with that, the stars continue to the enjoyment above as the elegant smiles fill the way forward. Hmm. Left us a let, uh, left us a poem. Alright. Guess that was just a small little. Yeah, small little side quest. Nice enough. Okay, I guess, uh, yeah, we'll just keep clearing some of the space station side quests. We'll do a couple of them and then we'll do a companion quest, I guess. Hmm. I want to learn about those photo spectral things. You were we were finding ghosts, ghost SCPs or something. Photo spectral things? Well, what are those? I never heard of it. I think you got the wrong person. I am Lukax, the justice fighter, and I've been fighting for the rights of non-human creatures on the space station ever since I became a researcher here. A man as righteous as I am has no knowledge of any activities regarding the fairy spirits and the related photographic activities. My guts tells me you know the inside story. Is that so? How reliable can one guts feelings be? I am being framed. Alright, seeing that you're not from the Cura Collection Squad, I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. After all, I can't sacrifice the safety of the masses and ignore the bigger picture just for the freedom of the few. 
I do know a little about the curios. They're scientifically called Wobaboo, a species of astral spirits collected by the Department of Ecology. Those, those are the cute mascot ghosts. They managed to escape during the Legion invasion. Honestly, if they just went into hiding, there would have been no trouble for the rest of the space station. However, recently, they've been appearing in groups very frequently. It's as if they were plotting to take up more living space and stir up an uprising. After giving it much thought, I came to the conclusion that this is a special scenario that goes against the overall interests of Hertha Space Station. Look how the Justice Fighter will no longer be out by aiding and abetting them and covering their tracks. They are popular among the furry community? I mean, they're, they're kind of just like booze though, right? Booze with uh, cute faces. It is entirely possible. You don't know, the Wobbaboos are infamous for their manipulation tactics, so they have been nicknamed Jinx. If they were to gain crucial intel on the ecology of the space station and figure out the researchers' weaknesses, it's quite plausible that they may even wreak havoc on the scale that could rival the Antimatter Legion's invasion. Hey, aren't you that Captain Arlon from the security department? Let me tell you something in confidence. Wobbaboos are sneaky and mysterious. Even fully grown humans are scared of them, which is why people will try their best to avoid any encounters. However, they somehow have a connection with children and often share a close bond. If you want to know more, you can go ask the two little kids over there. Usually, I wouldn't even think about infringing the rights of non-human creatures. However, this is a special situation. Hopefully, the ro little robots will understand me. Wobbaboo quest. Those so the adults over there are very prepared. You have to promise me you won't accidentally spill anything, okay? I know, just leave it to me. No matter how righteous they appear, how charismatic they are, how pitiable they present themselves, we must not tell them anything. Got it, got it. You can be such a nag sometimes, you know, Adler. Okay, I'll stop. Here they come. Shush. Oh, it's Big Brother Arlen. Ever since the monsters came here, Big Brother Arlen has been so busy that he never came around anymore. Shilling miss misses you so much. Big Brother Arlen misses you too. Uh, me? I... Ahem, Stella's right. I'm always thinking about the safety of the staff members. And because of that, I would like to ask you about this rumor of staff members accidentally taking pictures of some eerie entities. I brought some of them here, take a look. I've seen them. If Big Brother Arlen is here to ask about Wobby, Shading has nothing to tell you. Sorry. Wobby? Hmm. Spilling the beans right from the start. Uh, never mind. I am Atler from the Department of Ecology. You may not have seen me before. But if you've heard of the Atlas tier system you stationed wide, you have known the surname my father and I bear. Shilling's Wobby is indeed one of the specters you mentioned. They are the Curio Wobbaboo from the Department of Ecology. Wobbaboos are considered a subspecies of astral spirits that exist in the form of spiritual entities. They are also known as Jinx to some people. If you are curious about them, I may be able to give you a brief explanation of their existence. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Little Adler is our genius in the Department of Ecology. No one else can outsmart Adler. Me and I'll achieve. I told you many times, outsmart is about cunning. I am all about work and intellect. Alright, little Adler, don't be anxious. Since you brought up Wobbaboo, Stella and I are here want to ask you a few questions. Are they dangerous? That's one hard question to answer. You see, Wobbaboos are different from humans. In their way of thinking, there is no active concept of malevolence. However, the chaotic behaviors they exhibit in line with the nature often cause unpredictable damage to their surroundings, which can be perceived by humans as being harmful. This question is difficult to answer. I am a generalist type of scholar, not a specialist. Just based on these photos, Wobbaboo can appear anywhere and everywhere. Likely, the specific pathways of their movement can only be discerned by those who take care of them. I am not. As the walking encyclopedia in the Department of Ecology, I'm just answering your questions on behalf of Wen Shiling. That's right, I messed up just now, so Adler is not helping me not to tell on myself any more than I already did. Adler, in my professional opinion, your answers were vague, evasive, and only offered very limited help. The specters in the photos, the Wobbaboos, have already disrupted all on the space station. I need to recover them as soon as possible to prevent them from further endangering the space station and bringing potential harm to our staff. Impossible. As I have said, they are not malicious. They only act in accordance with their most basic instincts. That's right, that's right. We're very familiar with Wobby. They won't harm people on purpose, and mostly just pull some pranks at places. Shiling, please, just stop talking. The level of danger they pose will be determined by the security department, but first I need to find a Wobbaboo just to see for myself. Let's not rush ourselves. I do fully understand where you're coming from, Captain Arlon, but we really don't know where the Wobbaboos are. After all, we're just scared little kids. We're too timid to deal with mysterious entities like these, aren't we, Shilling? Um, oh yes, that's right. I, um, we really don't know. Please leave us be and go search for the Wobbaboos elsewhere. Uh, -huh, um, Adler is right. You should, that guy should totally go ahead and do as Adler says. 
Judging from Wen Shilling's answer, I have a feeling he, that Adlan knows more than he's letting on. Ghost type Pokemon? Hmm. Probably. Whoa. It's everything here. I brought you I brought the things you need to do need to. After completing your task, go back quickly. You already got the attention of the security department, so please stop trying to make more problems. Woo woo woo. Yeah, it speaks like a Pokemon too. It just won't work even if you put on a terrifying look like that. Captain Ireland is the head of the security department, and he's also the hero who helped thought the Legion's invasion of the space station. With those two together, even the biggest one among you is no match for them. Woo. Anyway, take the stuff and leave quickly. Freeze, I've got you surrounded. There it is. There it is, boys. Whoa. Yeah, I guess it could. I could see why it's popular. It's a weird marshmallow. They're not even that important to the story. They're just a little out of the way thing. Whoa. So that's the scary Wobbaboo? Yeah. Both of you adults are so shameless going out of the way to stalk a kid like me. This is me outsmarting you. Huh. You adults are only good at one thing making up excuses for your own actions. Adler, what do you do? What are you and the Wobble conspiring to do? Tell me now, and I promise I won't hold you responsible. There's no conspiracy. I was just mumbling to myself. Do you hear the Wobble talking? It does not speak human languages, and there's no need to because you can understand it. The little Adler from the Department of Ecology is a master of languages of different species. We are very much aware of that. If you insist on being tight-lipped about this, I will have to find the director of the Department of Ecology. Uh, please don't tell Auntie Hinko about this. Uh, I'll tell you everything. After the Wobbaboos escaped, they stayed low profile on the space station for a long time, and we played together a lot. However, recently, they've been mobilizing en masse for a certain collective aim. Even this one, my best friend, wanted me to find some things for them, all of which seem to have a connection with a certain researcher. I don't know what this is for, but they certainly don't mean to hurt anyone. I didn't tell anyone because, because everyone in the space station is an adult working on their own research projects. It's so hard to find a playmate and I don't want them to recover just because of some baseless accusations. I never expected that you had this childlike sight to you. Uh -huh. Adler has always acted like an adult, and I was a bit concerned at some point. So, as you've already established, the Wobbaboos are mobilizing to work towards a certain objective, which I believe will be the new focus of the security department's investigation for now. Woo. Did it say something? It says, I will never review our goal. It also said, mind your own business or the scariest of us all will eventually come and make your lives difficult. It said that much with just one sound? Hmm, you can rest assured that I translated it faithfully. Just look like we're stuck in a stalemate. If that's the case, my only option is to make a concession by arresting this one for an internal report. Woo! Wait, unless it says if. If you can prove that your intentions are benevolent, I will consider telling you the location of our base. It can negotiate too, so how do we prove that our intentions are benevolent then? As I mentioned before, they were trying to collect the belongings of a certain researcher named Ekura Shu. That researchers belongings have all been taken away by legion monsters. All the Wobbaboos and I have been spending a huge amount of time and effort on retrieving the taken items. That's why they kept getting photographed. They were so occupied with dealing with difficult opponents that they had no spare energy left to stealth themselves. If you can help them out, then you're a friend. Otherwise, it still won't tell you a single word, even if you threaten to take its life. <laughs> Beating up monsters, leave it to me. Um, taking out the remnants of the legion also falls within the security department's purview. Apart from our duties, we can also help with Wobbaboo's request at the same time, which is like killing two birds with one stone. Just leave this to stare at me. Woo. It says, happy collaborating. My comrades are already present at the scene, just waiting to strike. Hopefully you are able to recover Eikura Shu's belongings as soon as possible. I'm waiting for your good news. Help the Wobbaboo to deal with the monsters. Okay. Hmm. There's this guy squatting here. The dead return. Time for a fun. 
Easy enough. Nice. Let's do it again when you're leveled up. Team, you're readable. Oh, they're hiding in here, huh? Oh no, it's just another one. Moments excitement, nothing more. There, one more over here. <laughs> the bad feeling about this tower, be careful. Whoa, that's a big one. <laughs> it's just an Uwu ghost, it's so big. <laughs> Big banner light. Huge bubble boo. The Department of College you managed to contain a cure of this size. Bonk. The dead returns! World cleansing dragon. <laughs> Time for a fun. <laughs> to the clock! Are mine to bear. Woo 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 woo. It doesn't look very different from the one before from before. So it's only larger in size than the other ones. We saw its huge brethren. Ah, oh, you've already seen the scariest of them all. Looks like it's gonna be harder to bluff you in the future. Fortunately, you've already gotten all the things they need. I'm curious, why do the Wobobos want research at Ikura Shu's belongings? I don't know. I asked the little buddy before, but he never answered. According to Wobobos habits, maybe maybe this Ikura Shu offended them in some way, so they are taking revenge by confiscating his things? The name Ikura Shu it feels somehow familiar. Wobo researcher? What makes you say that? Have you already seen these documents about him? I guess I missed it out somewhere along the way. We ought to have a thorough check after getting our hands on such important evidence. Okay, I read through them. According to his letter back home, his diary, and his research report that we have on hand, he's just an ecology researcher with low access clearance, and he once served as a Wobobo researcher and a caretaker. At some point, his research fell through and he was transferred to handle the space station's anti gravity protection net, daily repairs, ionization ban, and maintenance. Before arriving at the space station, he was a one in a million genius on his home planet. But here his evaluation was extremely low, making his life here a lonely, uninteresting one. From his diary, we understand he was he felt unfulfilled. But in his letters back home, his mother seems to have high hopes for him. Yeah, other people see the glory of being employed by the space station, but they don't know the exhaustion people have to endure while on the inside. The researchers here are always highly motivated, working themselves like an ever-spinning top, trying so hard just to earn recognition from Madame Perto or even a sight-long glance from news to erudition. But to achieve all that wouldn't be easy at all. Learning to accept the disparity between expectations and reality is a lesson that everyone here will eventually learn. 
So the belongings that the world will want me to find belong to such a researcher. How unrelatable. After all, I, Adler, have never faced such a dilemma such as unsuccessful research. Woo. It just said, haven't you looked enough? Pass the items to me now. Seeing how you've proven yourselves to be on its side, it now acquiesces in pointing you towards your base of operation, which is at the end of the disposal site. Remember, only you two are allowed to go there. All the way back here, huh? Well, if we're going back and forth in this area, I guess we might as well clear out the mobs real quick. Don't mind me. The big boys here. Now ah, we have to activate this thing again. Yeah, I just left it back over. It's making pop pop noises too. <laughs> so many wobble boos. Get around something. Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, looking at all the different faces. Sad. Woo woo. Ra. Rawr. Two sad ones over here. And then this one just lurking around outside here. So this is what it is. Ooh, ghost. <laughs> There's so many of them. Let's capture them all. Get the daze. Put a lot of effort into this. That's right. Do you still remember what was written in the observation of Wobobu behavior? What kind of Wobobu would gather in an empty room? Sad? Sad rubber will gather in an empty room and share their unhappy thoughts. Not only that, the name Ikura Shu is carved on a memorial stone they are guarding in this room. The carving looks new, it must have been built recently. These rubber will are gathering his belongings not to prank the previous caretaker and not to destroy all on the space station. They were mourning a late friend. Looks like this researcher named Ikura Shu perished during the Legion's invasion. No wonder neither Adler nor I seem to be able to recall the name. I didn't think Wobobos, the seemingly feral and heartless astral spirits, would cherish friendship more so than the humans do on the space station. Now these little guys don't seem to be that feral. Yes, you're right, they are indeed not feral. Come to think of it, they even seem a bit cute. 
Which reminds me, we should set up a similar type of memorial site for those who lost their lives under the stampede of the Antimites Legion, so as to offer condolences on behalf of the station. As for Acorus Shoes Memorial Stone, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to have it standing for eternity. With belongings gathered in the memorial stone secured, the ceremony is not complete. The Wobble Woods can now be appeased. But why does it seem they have still have no intention to leave? Why don't we just let them be? Shying away from this simply won't do any good to lessen their sorrow. Let me think. Oh, I've got an idea. Still, do you know how to take a picture? A picture of Wobble Woods gathering in front of the memorial, a picture of the giant Wobble Woods guarding the place by itself, and a picture of the couple of Wobble Woods sharing the grief. Oh, we could take a few pictures that would fit these descriptions so we can memorialize them. Eternalizing their friendship to make it resilient and enduring is what I think would truly leave the Wobbaboos at peace. Take a picture. Okay. Uh, we're taking a funeral picture now. Uh, wait, do you need. Oh, it's a function button one. Then a picture of these. And a picture of these. If we have pictures that we can keep forever, maybe the bubble boys can find and fulfill their wish. Thank you so much. I didn't expect these little things, which are often mistaken for specters, to have a soft side. Looking at these pictures, I think it's time to leave. It all began with this collective goal of theirs. And now that it is finally realized, they should be able to continue living in peace or coexistence with the staff members. But there is still one last thing. This is a small token of appreciation for being such a kind witness to all of this. Please take it. Ella said that the Wobble Boo has prepared a unique blessing just for you using the special technique of this species. From now on, you will be one of the very few who could understand them. They are species full of wonders. Uh -huh, the space station would be the best place for them. As for the humans and the Wobble Boos, all lives have to go on. However, perhaps in the future you can drop by more often and have a chat with them. Think of it as a commemoration of this encounter. Hmm. Avatar reward obtained for finishing. Oh, we can use that as a. Uh... Yeah, now that's an option. I see. That's nice. So you're saying we can talk to them now, huh? I wonder if these guys are just gonna be hanging around here like forever now though. That was the end of that mission, right? Yeah, let's find out, I guess. We'll do a quick teleport. Yeah, I think they're just there forever now. Kind of funny that way. A will forged in ice never falters! But the vision! Break! Dodge this! Yeah. Alright. Um, I guess... What should we do now? Alright, chat. Give me just a minute. I'm gonna go use the washroom real quick. Uh, and then when we get back... I guess we'll start a companion mission, either that or we'll continue cleaning up some of the space station space, uh, side quests, I guess. We'll see what we feel like doing. Alright, be right back.
says... Uh, something is... Do you want to leave? Uh-huh.
Alright chat, I'm back. Did uh did Sushang yell her lines a little bit too much? Sorry for subject subjecting you to that. <laughs> um Alright then, I guess we'll do one more. Since uh Yeah, there's I mean there's a couple of uh couple of space station ones here. But I guess we'll do this one. around talking to Asta think of the space station as your home it's you thanks for helping out on the station you encounter some problems <laughs> keep hearing some something that sounds like I need to go for a leak now now you've got me curious I don't know which Sushang line is that let me finish before you say anything otherwise you might misunderstand a while ago romantic poems gained popularity in the space station Many staff members were affected by the romantic mood, and so many of them decided to use the opportunity to get to know the other half. Not an old-fashioned stubborn person, our staff members work here and live here, so of course I will support your romantic pursuits and lifestyle. There's a researcher here named Wen Furi. Everyone thought he only had a academic research on his mind and does not care about relationships. Recently, however, he suddenly requested to be dispatched to conduct research off station, specifically to investigate the cultural phenomenon in CN Zhou. He's a physics researcher, what is he trying to do with a cultural study? This is too big a jump. His uncharacteristic behavior worries me, so I probed to it a little. Recently, he has been obsessed with the Foshian Beauty Chat, with private romance counseling service in the Sienjo Law Firm. That's right, his real reason to request for a transfer is not because of an academic shit, but a desire to meet with the Sienjo Foshian Beauty he was in contact with. Hmm, <laughs> this Foshian Beauty Chat is definitely questionable at best. Isn't it? Most people with common sense will immediately see how shady it is just from this name, but Researcher Wen is not one of them. I had a few conversations with him. Every time I mentioned the Four Cien Beauty, he, his grin grows uncontrollably. But when I, when I tried to inquire further, he always dodged the questions and evaded the topic. I think it must be because of my position as acting lead researcher that he felt reticent to talk about his love life. I heard that these chats have his operator on an invite-only membership basis. Maybe you can have a chat with him, and even better if you can get an invite. I want to ask you to investigate this Four Cien Beauty chat. Find out what is behind this service. <laughs> You're asking me to actively be the target of a scam. Scammers just want money at the end of the day, don't they? My allowance should be able to cover both you and Wen Furi. I will reimburse all your losses. For me, the most important thing is to protect the staff members' working lives. This is something money can't buy. So I shall await your good news. Oh, Alright then. Okay, chat. I will listen out and see what you guys are talking about. Voice line wise. Go on. Say the thing, Sushang. 
That's Peppy over there. Am I standing too close to someone else? Is that why you won't do your line? So Shang, do the thing. Say your line. Well, she's starting her idols, so... It's probably the other one then. Is it the one where she takes a book out and starts talking? Oh, that's her trying to read her poem, like... Yeah. I think that's the line. Life is as something something flo flying on a leaf, is what, is what she said. <laughs> yeah. She's, re she's trying to be cultured and failing. That's what it is. Misdighting, hey, hey, my misdighting. Hey, hey, for sin beauty. Isn't it, isn't it? Wait, how do you... Who are you? It's me. Did you forget about me already? We haven't met. Wait, you're one of the Astro Express people. Alright, oh, I hear that the Express went to the Sienjo Law Fu. What a coincidence. Hey, hey, speaking of Sienjo, I fell in love with a pretty full Sien beauty in Sienjo. In the past, I buried myself in research and never once had I thought about love. But now, after I started socializing on the full Sien beauty chat service, I've changed. No, reborn. I didn't think there would be such a fantastic person in the universe. I almost regret not meeting her earlier in life. I know how you feel. That's great. The moment I saw you, I knew you'd be someone who understands me. I know what you're trying to achieve. The others thought I was being duped. It must be the same. The internet is not real. It's not something you can handle. Yada yada. But in reality, I've already commissioned the IPC to deliver gifts to her a few times. They kept returning my gifts on the ground of an unclear delivery address. I haven't been to the CN show, so I don't know where I got it wrong. I know Miss Dai Ting's life beyond the secular universe must not be disturbed, but a hardcore fan like myself would love to have a chance to express my feelings to her. Darn it, if only my off-station research transfer application had been approved, I would be able to deliver the gift on my own. I envy you. You just have to hop, hop aboard the express and you can go where, anywhere you want. Wait, isn't the express station at Lawful right now? Can I trouble you? I'm not a delivery person. I know, I know, the path of trailblaze is a sacred and solemn mission. But if you help me with this gift, you'll be crossing the universe, joining two hearts, two worlds light years apart together. They will be so... reverent. I'll pay you double, no, triple the amount the delivery service company charges. It's a bonus to throw in the beauty membership's invitation link. You want to behold the full science beauty charm for yourself, don't you? Deal. Deal. Okay, then. Actively encouraging scams. I made a start this game and I should be able to receive one for his message soon. I'll leave it to you. Don't forget to deliver the gift I placed under your care. I hear the gifts to the full CN beauty must be have a special identifier code. However, the code is constantly changing, so you need to meet someone offline and verify identity is a fan. Wait, let me copy paste for you. Alright. I told you so. This past phrase seems familiar. Just try it. Once you've spoken out loud, you've already surpassed your past self. When I praise Miss Dieting in the office area, everyone would stay away from me. You see, they're the ones feeling embarrassed, not me. <laughs> I'm not cringe. They're all cringe. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm you and you're me. Go on, I'll allow you to call yourself the genius researcher when for Rewa and see and Joe. Hmm. I don't know about this. But okay. Good day, can I help you? <laughs> Acquaintance with the Moto Coil Luxurious Gifts from Beyond. Is this a kind of pickup line to try to sell me something? Young girl, heed my advice. Whether you're here to find love or find a chat body of curiosity, you shouldn't be too invested. For the chance of outworlders, hmm? Or rather, between long life and short life species, rarely can romance either romance or friendship work out well for either party. <laughs> Lady, you shouldn't project yourself onto others. Whether it's just my projection or not, you'll find out after staying in St. Joe for a while. I have many times fallen for cute outworlder boys. However, they were merely infatuations. No once have I thought about their life or companionship. Before I could realize it, they all turned old, stolen my time. 
You only have a few decades of life as a short life individual, don't mm -hmm. you? Your life is entirely different from us long life individuals with lifespans regularly approaching a millennium. Would you say I want to be with you forever to a child who lives for five years? Dangerous to say yes. So I advise you not to invest much of yourself in the foolish and beauty chat service. If possible, don't create any sort of relationship and token with a essential native. Besides, some longer response. Like it. Well, she knows about it. And she knows about it. Did I just get scammed? <laughs> Topical. The greatest of Mortal Coil luxuries goes on beyond. Excuse me? <laughs> Acquaintance on the Mortal Coil. <laughs> Acquaintance on the Mortal Coil luxuries goes from beyond. It sounds like you were saying of the utmost reluctance. What does it mean? I apologize. Nothing can help you. You can try someone else. Dies of cringe. Passerby hunk. What? Acquaintance with Mortal Coil, luxurious gifts from beyond. Speak louder. Get out of my way. Because continue to probe my reputation as Angel with Swan Dive beyond saving. Can't find them at all. Ask where the operative is. Send me a new address. <laughs> Give me your account. I can't, I'll invite you after the house of someone not now. Hurry and go now. Come on in. I'm planning on quitting my job. It's Ting Shui from the Divination Com Commission. Because you should be interested in the full Shen Beauty Chat. Hmm. I didn't think I'd be able to meet you here. Wait, are you here to ask about that? Please say the passphrase. <laughs> you first. It's, you know, fun. You're too late. All the operators have already gone home. My acquaintances here are also for the beauty chat. You can just tell. They are hardcore fans of the full Shen Beauty. Ting Chui, you're painting me like an addict. Miss Dai Ting is a good girl who liberated my soul. This is like a charity for her. Who's your friend? Not a realm can be commissioned spy, is she? <laughs> Hi, I'm from this Angel's Anti-Fraud Commission. Well, I'm a general from the Seat of Divine Foresight. You can't deceive me. I don't know what you're trying to achieve by coming here, but let me tell you something. Miss Dising has never scammed us. We are the ones sending her money willingly. Don't use a profane worldview to judge our acts of love. <laughs> I'm com being completely villainized. Only you would know if you're a good person or a villain. It's not for me to comment. You can go back to the game. I have something to discuss with my realm keeping commission spy friend. My game mates are naturally suspicious of strangers. Don't take it to heart. Are you here because of your altruistic nature and have nothing better to do than to investigate the full Xian beauty chat? Do I look like someone who's got nothing better to do? Your good citizen act stands out too much. No, you're a shining, glaring beacon of lawful light. <laughs> if I was free as you are, I'd rather go have another round of games or two. I will be frank, due to some feats on the gaming table, I was forced to investigate the full Shan Beauty chat service, but I really can't find the motivation to start the investigation. If I could have refused, I would have. Luckily, you appeared. You want to investigate the full Shan Beauty chat, and you don't have any clues. I have the clues, you have the heart, so I'll give you the clues, and you give me the membership invitation link. Do we have a deal? I refuse. Give it another thought. You have to show your sincerity. You're far too cautious. I will give you the identifier code and we will go ahead and follow the side crate. We can find we find a consignee, I supplicate myself to the lady a little bit, and I should be able to get the membership invitation link. A sweet fantasy. If a problem can be solved easily, I will not complicate it no matter what. Since we share an aim, let's go look for side cream. Alright. This is a this is a quest that's going across two regions technically. Psychrains like this exist everywhere in the Ciencho. Because of their cute and small appearance, more homebound people consider these constructs as the most visited friends. Heron Express at your service. Are you looking to deliver parcel now or book a parcel delivery? Please enter delivery information. I'll do this step. Logistics identify code detected. Herod Express keeps the receiver's address in straight confidence. You will now weigh the item. Please place the item to be delivered below the side crane. Wait, let me put in a note. Flammable, explosive, fragile, contains liquid. I'll check out the safety related options. That way, the side crane will travel at a slower speed. Let's go, it's starting to move.
The Cyclone is entering the lane as we speak. The only way to keep up with it is the Star Skiff. Jesus, on then. As yeah, so the official, the realm can be commissioned. I order you to follow that Cyclone up ahead at all costs. If only I had the chance to issue an order like that. Out over at Cloudford. Looks like the Cyacrine has made its way to the inspection warehouse with your gift in tow. Its destination appears to be Cloudford. Let's get moving and keep up with it. Hopefully we don't have to run into any enemies along the way. What are you stopping for? What oh, do I have to clear the enemies out again? Alright. It won't, it won't move unless we clear the mobs out. What would they do if I went here? You lazy bum, get moving. Hang on, why is a man signing for this? Hey you, hold right there, who might you be? But who do you guys think you're ordering me around like this? <laughs> I am a robber with a fearsome temperament to match. But robbers strolling around in broad daylight in a civilized age such as this? Um, let's start with what you do for a living. This fearsome lady beside me is very flexible in your career choice, so if you answer honestly, she might not be a robber. <laughs> the gift we sign is on Miss Dai Ting, who lives alone away from the world. How exactly did it fall into your hands? Because because I am her manager, and you might be interested to know what that, that Dai Ting has repeatedly expressed a wish that fans not engage in extreme behavior such as, for example, stalking. Are you even listening? I'm going to cancel your memberships. I don't even have a membership. I don't have a membership either. We both got here by following someone else's delivery. Now you give me an honest answer. You're not going to steal Miss Dai Ting's gift for yourself, right? Rest assured the gift will be delivered to Miss Dai Ting. As for how it gets to her, you needn't worry about that. You won't believe that you're actually Miss Dai Ting's manager, unless... You 
Grant me membership. Uh, get to the program. What we really want is for you to take, take us to visit Miss Dai Ting. Are you guys out of your minds? How can I allow some, anyone to disturb Miss Dai Ting? Is that so? How about I take you to the Realm Keeping Commission and let them decide whether you're really Miss Dai Ting's manager? No, 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 that won't be necessary. How about this? I give you some even better than normal membership. Premium membership. Which will allow you to contact Miss Dai Ting privately. How's that sound? <laughs> but what I really want is to see her in person. Learn to recognize her blessing when you see it. Those who just normal membership could never dream of such a privilege. What a rotten day this has been. Here, yeah, this will prove that I'm... This will also prove that I'm really her manager. I've successfully obtained the premium membership. I'm a tier 3 sub to her to her Twitch. I mod her Discord. <laughs> Let's keep this with you now, right? If any word of this gets out, the cancel membership privileges. We'll leave you be then. I'm still. Your friend request has been approved. You may now start chatting. Welcome, those in Traveler. I've heard what happened. A meeting in the Sea of Strangers could be a tough of fate and encounter. From today on, I am your friend in which you can confide your secrets. I will not break confidence or reveal anything you share with another person. I hope you will do the same. Really, you're not some kind of high quality imitation of the real one? Am I that unworthy of trust? It's a little disappointing, but believe what you will. This picture is for you as my meeting gift to you. I hope our communication will soon to be more to be more in depth. Hmm. Actually, I was just trying to help my friend get a membership. Never thought we'd be so lucky to get a premium membership. Good work, Stell. As I expected, someone to get special recognition from even the Divination Commission. Your better heart and aura couldn't be more fitting for this charade. Better heart may be a bit of an exaggeration. Without you by my side, I don't think I could have intimidated him into playing along with us. Judging by the expression on your face, I reckon you weren't planning on letting him go so soon. I thought maybe we could extract more information from him. Oh, you suspect that there is something more to this full Xian beauty chat, don't you? In any case, there is no need to be hasty. Catching him now will only get him charged with a petty crime of thievery. As the saying goes, if you want to catch a big fish, cast a long line. Hey, running around everywhere takes a lot of energy, so that's not exercise today. Still, I'll see you later. Hmm. Alright. Let's go back and talk to him. So early! Let's look around. Hmm. Send out the gift. Oh, I've received the full shades beauty's reply. She said a disposable utensil set from both the space station is very useful. And then we talked more about so many joint using topics. Thanks to you. You're my good buddy. However, thank you. Oh yeah, I said we'll give you a membership invitation and I'll apply for you right now. Sorry, I'm already an advanced member. Didn't I tell you? No one would be able to say no to a full chance beauty's charm. Do you become an advanced member by delivering my gifts for me? You're so quick. Thanks to your hard work style. Here's a very small token of my thanks. Alright, Asta, I have a direct link. What do you want me to do next? Mm, what's next on the agenda? Advanced membership? You're full of surprises though. Picking you for the job was the right decision. What's the result of the investigation? Is this Fo Xian Beauty Chat really a secret online counseling chat room or is it plain and simple interplanetary scam? I didn't get to talk deeply to Fo Xian Beauty. I didn't say you should be involved that way. Let's up we have to talk to this Fo Xian Beauty. Bring out your phone, let's see what trick she is playing. <laughs> hey there, Miss Hungry Food Food. Miss case of your credits, I have no money for food. <laughs> also sorry, I can't come my phone. Let's continue. You're funny. I hear you're a guest coming from outside of San Joe, so where do you hail from from where do you hail? I live in this corner of San Joe, yet I am still able to beat you across the endless stars. What a fortune this is. How lucky. In the midst of the boundless cosmos, we meet, get to know, and it will be an important part of so many people's lives. However, everyone's heart is only so much space, and the pressure moments can be pretty unlimited. When I walk into you, you shout as much. You're in my heart. I'm really walking. I kept walking. Being lovey dovey. Um, does that mean you are a flirt of a woman with glib words and fighty promises? <laughs> oh, how pitiful I would be. I don't wish for your pity. If you're not but a passerby in your life, I will try my best to become one that you will never forget. Uh, my grandfather is beckoning. I have to take my leave for the moment. Think of the space station as your home. 
Now that I think about it, this Dai Ting scam had horrendous conversational skills. How did Wen Fu Rei fall head over heels with someone of such low caliber? In the midst of the boundless cosmos, we meet and greet and get to know so many people. Ah, her messages are so cringy. Can't believe they managed to endure them to the end. <laughs> I'm not such a great conversationalist myself. Oh come on, you played a naive girl part like a natural. Uh, you weren't pretending. <laughs> if you get cyber fraud messages, they use every trick in the book to get you to spend money as quickly as possible. I have always been vigilant. You need to turn off your anti-scam vigilance. I'm not a member of the Central Realms Keeping Commission, so I'm not going to prevent you from getting scammed. My goal is to uncover the true nature of the Foolish Shan Beauty Chat and ensure that my fellow researchers have a healthy and safe working environment in Tianzhou. Not only do you have to get scammed, you have to get spammed badly enough for us to get closer to the truth. All the scammers want is money. My pocket change should be enough to reimburse you for your losses. More than enough, in fact. If the Foolish Shan Beauty is just scamming people for money, then we should help Wen Furry let go of his illusions for good. You would agree, no? Oh, so she's contacting you. Remember, it's on my dime, so don't be coy about it. Alright, so our objective here is to purposely get scammed. <laughs> Let's see. Can I trouble you for a favor? There's something we should discuss with another. My very first page has begun to spot scars of a little full chance. Another be relative to the other by the passing of time. I want to stay by his cell, but he says I shouldn't stay in the tea farm. If I don't stay by his cell, how lonely will he be? Visit home often. As long as you being with him. This radar would suffer that really moved me. I never guess what I am currently doing. This is my grandfather right now. He's processing the tea leaves. He was spending a lot of money on paying the medication bills. My difficult grandfather to process the tea. It's now I recover. How do you type so? <laughs> drink warm water. Drink warm water. How do you type so quickly? <laughs> You're just copy pasting the messages, huh? Did I try my grandfather's tea? It's originally your customers. I can sell along with you. Okay, so France is five, five, six hundred. Ten dollars or two to say five for Catty. All right. How do you type so quickly? Forget about typing speed. Buy some tea. How much do you want? Transfer money. Two hundred million credits. Chad, how much of Asta's money should we burn? Well, she did say to cover everything, right? So here we go. Have you gone mad? Oh. <laughs> they backed out. We we scared them by giving them too much money. Think of the space station as your home. Uh, I'm blocked? How much did I transfer? Is that a lot for a scammer? <laughs> you scared her. She's scared of only this much? <laughs> what a doormat! <laughs> Don't worry, with this amount of money, you usually go to the IPC's currently safety account for safekeeping for a time before it's officially transferred. So now the easy parts. So can you contact the Realm Keeping Commission to file a report, launch an investigation, and retrieve the money? I will go chat to Wenfu Rei and talk some sense into him. I'll teach him about the rudimentary scamming technique that the Full Shen Beauty Chat employs. Oh look, someone else is contacting you. That's way too much! Are you for real? <laughs> Who are you? I already get you my number. Sorry, I overreacted. You were scammed. The Full Shen Beauty Dai Ching account is a cyber fraud, and that, and that counts out. I didn't think you would send that much money over. My conscience can't handle it. I really want to return the money to you. Plus, you, you wouldn't want to lose that much money, right? <laughs> it's just a tiny amount of money. Don't worry about it. Easy for you to say, but your money hasn't actually been credited to my account. And it's not being flagged for investigation by the IPC Safe Credit Agency. I don't understand rich dudes like you. So rich, why do you go and buy some real tea leaves? I'm regretting everything. I'll return all the money to you. Save this account in your contacts as Tingster. I'll contact you when you're at Cloudfoot. I have a direct line. On the agenda. Ah, the plot thickens. But if she does have a manager, why would she use her own uh, alias to contact you? Normally when things like this happen, her manager will be on the board to deal with hiccups like this. Maybe she's the manager herself. Uh, didn't you say the manager was male? Wouldn't this be a little too cruel to research a one? Here's an idea. What if you go and meet up with the manager before meeting her? I think that might be safer. If you can find him, ask about her and if you can't, just forget about it. It's not that big of a deal. Alright. <laughs> you can't send me this much money. I'm gonna be investigated for taxes. It's gonna expose me. What the hell? This side quest is very entertaining. Oh, hello. Hi, Tingtre. Wait. Dai Ting, Tingtre. 
Is that you? Was it you the whole time? I thought it was someone else, but it's not to be a spy from the Royal Keeping Commission. Oh, you're here too. Are you here to ask my explanation of the manager too? What are you doing here? That full Shen beauty Dai Ting has not replied to any messages for several days. My game mates think some trouble has befallen her, like being arrested by involving herself in a cyber fraud or something. My game mates are so anxious and fired up that he sent me to come and get an explanation. There's definitely something fishy going on. You never even heard of any manager from Miss Dai Ting. Actually, I have a way to find Dai Ting. Really? That full Shen girl is also at Cloudfoot? Why would she go all the way out to the port? What is this? Some kind of mafia movie? I'll go with you. You seem reliable, so things should go pretty smoothly. Ting Che, I don't believe anything this fella says, but if you do find Miss Dai Ting, please let me know. Hmm. Are you at Cloudfort? I sent you the address. Sorry, we can't discuss these things openly, you know, so the police are here waiting for you. Wait a second. Tingster, I'm sick of work. Smiley face. Is it actually you, Tingshe? Go ahead and work, just don't interrupt my game. Huh. If it really is you, why are you using that as an alias? You get found out like immediately. What is wrong with you? Gambling is one thing. Gambling is like gambling all your money away is one thing. But scamming people? I'm pretty sure that gets you thrown in, in prison. How? Oh, what are you doing here? We're here to meet someone. That's right, we're here to meet an online friend. We agreed to meet up here. I ask another question which one of you is Stell? Eh, she's Stell. Wait, what? Mr. Cloud Knight, she is. <laughs> so you're the one. Stell is suspected of illegal and fraudulent activities. He will carry out the arrest immediately. All persons involved in the case are advised not to resist arrest, and those who disobey will be arrested with violence if required. What? Fraud? Arrest? What is this? This Cloud Knight is suspicious. The Cloud Knight is suspicious. It can't be. And now you're defaming a public official. Arrest them all. Hmm. <laughs> this probably is the case that we're not. I don't think these... I don't think the knights are sus, I think Ting Tre is sus. Maybe it's an internal audit thing, you know? Like, it's like within the Realm Keeping Commission, they themselves are running like an internal scam. And nothing to do with this. What is this? Why is there no mission of these people being so strong in the intel? Something's wrong with this Cloud Knight Captain. I just realized this team may not be the best equipped to deal with this fight. I wasn't expecting to have to fight a gatekeeper. With his imprisonments and everything. Yeah, hang on. Let's swap over to my A team. All right. Now we'll just blow through. <laughs> World cleansing dragon. <laughs> Time for a fun. 
Ah, they ran away. Are they really cloud knights? It's a calculator trap. Only she would know of this address, so we must have arranged for people to amb ambush you as cloud knights. We heard the location, but she didn't appear. I think she might be feeling guilty. Send her a message and say, Tingster, you're not a cloud for it all. Where are you? Wait, I think I heard a Jade Abacus notification coming from the container in front. Let's go check it out. Hmm. Tingster, don't just hide and be quiet. I know you're in there. You have the guts to pull off scans but not open the door? Alright, alright, I'll come out. Satisfied? Are you the Foshan Beauty? I... It can't be, eh? Did I get the wrong person? Let me look closer. Hmm, kinda looks like the manager I saw last time. Yeah, that's right. How could I be the Foshan Beauty dieting? I'm not Foshan. I'm not even a lady. I I am her manager. Tch, okay, never mind. I guess it wasn't Tingtre. Actually, no. The jury's still out. Yeah, so it was you talking to me this whole time. That's not me, that's Dai Ting. But the Jade Abacus is in your hands, so where is Dai Ting? She, she, oh darn it, I'll drop the act. I am Dai Ting. I had a feeling from the start that you were sent to investigate me, but I didn't think that you have so much money and you were so capable of fighting. Well, now you know, I have been catfishing as a full sham beauty to chat to people online, but I have done nothing that goes against my conscience. Really? I shouldn't have told you that I was a manager, but what do you have me do? So many people have been believing the fantasy of the Foshan Beauty Dai Ting. If you go out there and tell them the Foshan Beauty Dai Ting is actually a dude hiding in a container, I wouldn't tell my game mates that. Isn't it? In a situation like just now and the fact that I don't know any of you, I can only pretend to be Dai Ting's manager. But why are you catfishing in the first place? You won't tell me you're really just trying to make friends with people online and have no ulterior motives such as cheating people's money or anything like that, will you? I'll be upfront. Would you want to befriend a stranger and an average looking man at that? <laughs> One must consider this question carefully if one is the VTuber. Right? I feel like I have to answer this question very carefully. <laughs> Not really, no. <laughs> that is exactly the reason I catfish as a Foxian la lady. You must have seen plenty online. I admit, I have cheated some people out of their money. But to me, if I can help another with just a few words, the money is inconsequential to the joy they feel, wouldn't you agree? My gimme is just sent me a message. They want to talk, so they hope they will get that we will get there immediately. I have nowhere to go, I'll be right here. Please don't tell them the truth about the full Shen Beauty dieting. My lips are pretty loose, so don't keep your hopes up. <laughs> Let's go. Why do you have your back turned against us? Dieting is over. Miss Dighting is all around the corner, isn't she? I shouldn't look over there. I shouldn't see her true self. She's someone who stays alone at a far off location. Meeting her like this doesn't seem appropriate. So if you're not here to see the full Shan Beauty, what are you doing here? Realm Keeping Commission Spy. Are you going to arrest Miss Dighting under the pretext of cyber fraud? Yes, the money involved has exceeded 100 million credits. How could this be? Is it true? I can't believe it. Look, to us, the first gen beauty dieting is not just an account on the chat room. It is a fantasy that we created with the person around that corner. You underestimated the help she has given me. I have had thoughts of ending it all. It was dieting who kept my spirit strong and contacted my friends to help me. It was her who made me feel I could continue living. But this... 
The Foolish and Beauty chat sweet talks people into spending their money. I know that. She wants money and I want her soothing words. She wanted to return the money to me every time, but I felt like it was a remuneration she deserves. Remuneration. She has the power to ease people's hearts, so she should be able to earn that money with the work that she does. If she is going to be judged because of that, I feel guilty. It doesn't concern me much, but this lady has been scanned out of a huge amount of money. You know, it won't be meeting her, so we're going home. I'm begging you, please don't let her be taken away by the Realm Keeping Commission. It's not something I can decide. Well... What do you think, chat? <laughs> Pokemon tier tree sub. Alright, sorry, I gotta go again real quick. Uh, shouldn't be too long though, I'll be right back. Old friends meet yet again. Friends meet yet again. Friends meet yet again. Friends meet yet again.
old friends meet yet again. Right, sorry about that. Um, yeah, my uh, my stomach is not agreeing with me right now. Should be fine though. Um, anyways, yeah, can I inquire as to what you talked about? My game mates are begging her on your behalf. They don't want you to be taken into custody by the realm keeping commission. What will you do? Causing you. That's right, a crime is a crime, but you return the money or not. Cheating someone out of their money is already crossing the line. We are not the law of the Sien so let's leave the judgment to the Realm Keeping Commission. I understand, I'll do whatever you think is correct. We took the case seriously and processed the case of the Fo Xian Beauty Chat. Don't get scammed, ladies and gentlemen. Publicly release information for the cyber fraud cases and various victims will receive appropriate compensation. Mm -hmm. You have uncovered the truth behind the Fortune Beauty Chair. Go and inform Master. Will do. All remains as it did yesterday. I'm ready to send the request of the Academy Exchange to Pedal Fastrum on the Central Lofos. So don't you worry. You, on the other hand, your trust of expectation is some. Ah, that happened to uh, see so I'd ask you to rewrite it and edit it before you send it again. But I've already re rewritten a few times. Oh, you're here. How goes the thing I asked you to investigate? So he's not for Xian, he's not a beauty. Are you okay, Wenfuri? Thank you for telling me the truth in time. Scammers like this should all go to jail. <laughs> I thought you'd be more depressed than what you seem to be right now. I didn't think you'd bounce back so quickly. I don't actually feel hurt. I only feel I only like real for Xian people, and fake for Xians like him will never fool me. <laughs> The wool was not just pulled over your eyes, it was all around your head. <laughs> That's right. For days, you have been going crazy over the Fo Xian's picture. Some of your colleagues even complain. Speaking of, if he's not a pretty Fo Xian, then who is this in the photo? Isn't a photo on Stella's phone just a regular Fo Xian lady? Maybe the scammer chose a passing Fo Xian girl at random. Are you saying Fo Xian ladies like this are everywhere on the Xian show? <laughs> the land of... <laughs> the land of fox girls? Xian Zhou is in fact a place like this. Acting lead researcher Asta, I think we should strengthen our cooperative relationship in research technology with Sien Zhou. Fine, fine, go ahead and write me an off station transfer application and we'll see. Yahoo! Thanks to you, we can consider this little saga over. Take this, what I promised you. Cyber fraud. <laughs> well, if they want to see a full Xian lady that badly, here's one. They're not that big a deal. I mean. Typical kimono mimi, right? Nothing much to them. Meanwhile, Asta in her deep, deep pockets. She simply does not care. Alright, uh, so in the end, we didn't actually do any companion missions today. We mostly just cleared side quests. Which I guess is fine, but I think I'm actually gonna call it at that for now. I'm a little tired and also I uh, probably should go try and like get some rest. So yeah, I think we'll call it at that for today. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll see if I can start Spooky Month tomorrow. If I, if I have enough energy and I'm up to it. If not, uh, definitely by Wednesday, I think. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. I'll see you guys around.